to become PCI. This is taken from my personal website. I've been presenting this many times. I'll just do it uh, quickly. I know there are so many resources available for uh, technical aspect of CCA, but we best regarding strategy and help you prepare for non technical. So I hope uh, my guidance is useful for you. You can read the complete uh, post in my personal blog. First thing you need to do is you to find the reason. I mean, uh, it takes a lot of effort, a lot of hard work. You need to sacrifice money, your social life, and the most uh, precious is your time. Time that you can spend with your family, time that you can spend with your friends. You need to face your time on this. So you need to find the reason why you want to do it. And that reason is probably the only thing that if you go when you get up uh, at night, there will be time when you feel so frustrated. You feel alone. At least that's what I felt when I started 10 years ago. Study until 3 o'clock in the morning. You got stuck, you cannot find answers. You, you did what you can do. You run for the debug. So, probably this reason is the only thing that keeps you moving forward. Okay, uh, next is you can use the Cisco certification program to help you become a CTA. As I mentioned, for each CA track with associate and professional, you don't have to ask those associate and professional, but they can help you to prepare for you for CTIE. At least you can use the study material, so it will be easier if you read, uh, for example, CCA materials and you go for CNT material one at a time. Somebody asked me, do you need to pass the exam? Well, it depends. Passing the exam just kind of a point for you to ensure that you have understood the material. And sometimes, probably your company requires you to be certified. And while waiting for your CCIE, at least if you certify in professional level, Maybe just ask for your company, so it depends on you. I have left to end this session at 4 a.m. Thank you, Luis. <laughs> okay, and uh, you build a home lab. The home lab definition is different right now. I mean, when I did my routing thing in security, I really did my home lab. I spend money to both all the uh, Cisco firewall and ideas. I even had the feed and concentrator at one at home. Therefore, my security lab. But now, this is especially for routing switching. You can have it in your virtual environment. Better yet, if you uh, are in a uh, hosting server somewhere on the internet and upload the GNSP, you can have that. Uh, Anywhere, anytime, you can share with your friends. After this, we'll have some discussion about the trouble thing. Okay, I uh, need to start for the written exam. Uh, my suggestion is not to mix between written and that because it's different. And for the lab, pass the CA lab, you just need readings, this practice and practice. PMPN, I don't think so. In routing switch, firewall, I don't think so. For routing switching. 
Now we can use MS3 uh, to practice fine. Okay. Uh, my experience is so practicing slow. Like if you are busy and if you have all the reason not to do it, then you can start with even one hour to build the habit study and then later on you can continue uh, and increase number to two hours or four hours. My record was six hours a day for my routing switching because my trade employer uh, gave me one month off just to practice this year. In total, I completed about 1,000 hours in the lab routing switch, 600 hours in the for city and then 300 hours in the lab as a provider. I use give recommendations uh, for any CI candidate to be fast, uh, as fast as possible, but uh, these days I change it to do once and do it right. I mean, when you do the actual, uh, you do the configuration session, you need to make sure you do it right from the beginning, from the peer dressing and then from the uh, IDP. Then later on, you put DGP or MPLS on the pocket. So it's better to do it once and do it right. Of course, uh, you need to spend some time, uh, you need to spare some time at the end of the, of the configuration. You can verify your work. Usually, even after uh, you verify it many times, you, you still find that you must uh, have a mistake. It's common. What I book suggest practice difference networks? Well, it depends on when I took my route switching. There was only a uh, one from CC Bootcamp at the time. There was only one book from CC Bootcamp. It was 2001, 2006. I used uh, IE Meter for security, but they are no longer uh, exist. And for SP, I use the Internet Network. Uh, use whatever uh, convenient for you, whatever available, because uh, they will not give you actual uh, lab questions. And when you practice, make sure you don't just uh, put the configuration as per the answer or the workbook. You need to know the reason and you need to ask questions. You should not uh, just believe in the Answer from the world, and obviously you need to join the community better. You need to build community. Uh, you don't have five days for to go to this email alone. You can, you can do it together. Find those uh, who are the same level with you and build this this community. And remember, when you join any forum, so don't get paid to answer your questions. So you have to respect those who enter. Okay. If you are able to enter, please do so. Build a happy uh, community. You think it's recommended to attend a CCA bootcamp? It depends. I didn't attend any bootcamp. In fact, I didn't attend any uh, training to pass my CCA, all the CCA. But it really depends. If you have a uh, resource and you think you did, then why not?